This is pre-Civil War issue, Linda. Look, Linda. Linda, what are you doing up there? I saw these crystal informations up here, Dad, and I couldn't resist climbing up to take a look at them. Well, just be careful. It's dangerous up there. Oh, sure. There might be a big saber-toothed bumblebee in these rocks. Well, there's an old army canteen. There's bound to be bones. Maybe camel bones. Rescue buggy's the greatest. It's got everything. Thanks, Matt. Roy and I are testing it for some friends of ours to see how it might perform in desert rescues. I think it passed the test with an A+. Looked great to me. Of course, all I got was a rear view. Minibus, old pal, you've just been outclassed. Ah. Oh, Dad! Ah. Don't move. If you don't upset it, it might go away. Linda. I, I can't get up there. I've got to get help. Linda, hang on. You think I can get more speed with thinner tires, Mr. DeSoto? Could be, but when you increase the speed, you increase the risk. Who needs that? What's the matter, Charlemagne? Hungry? Nah, he just doesn't like the sun in his eyes. It's not the sun. Someone's flashing a signal. That's a S O S O S. Someone's in trouble. Come on, let's give that dune buggy a workout. Hey, listen. Hey, you guys, watch it. Uh, watch it yourself. Okay, if those clowns were working so hard to find trouble. Come on, Jason, we got an SOS call, remember? No point hanging around here. Right. Let's get up to the ghost town. Hi. What's wrong? What can we do? Matt, Jason, better help Johnny get our climbing gear up to the top. The best way is up over there. That's how Linda got there. What are you going to do with the loudspeaker, Mr. DeSoto? You'll see, we gotta scare that ram out of here. Oh! Wow! You did it, Mr. DeSoto! She's slipping! She's gonna fall! I can't hold on much longer. I'm on my way. Stand by! We're going to climb all the way down. Boy, I didn't know those big horns were so vicious. Well, they aren't until they feel threatened. Thank goodness you're safe, Linda. And I'm glad you men spotted my signal. Oh, no. Those clowns are still at it. Well, it looks like the end of our generator and our refrigerator. The frame's bent, but the motor seems okay. It's mostly broken fittings and wires. Maybe I could fix it, but it would take a little time. We can eat the food. But, Dad, what about the snake bite kit? The anti-venom will spoil in this heat. No problem. We'll transfer the serum to the refrigeration compartment in the super buggy. You people think of everything. I don't know how to thank you, gentlemen. I don't mention it. We're glad to help. Say, what are you guys doing up here, anyway? Looking for camels. Looking for camels? Years ago, the U.S. Cavalry tried to introduce camels as desert transportation. Oh, yeah. I read about that. But the camels turned wild, right? Right. And they gradually disappeared. But some of the oldest desert prospectors claim they can still see them on moonlit nights. 
Wow, ghost camel. Hold on. We're interested in archaeology, and we're looking for what's left of the old camel camp. We don't expect to see any camels, ghostly or otherwise. Don't be too sure. Camels are very strange animals. Maybe a few of them are still wandering around out here. Hey, look. Isn't that smoke over there? Sure looks like it to me. Say, there's an old ghost town over that way. That place is so dry, a fire could wipe it out in five minutes. That'd be awful. It has enormous historical value. Let's make sure nothing happens to it. Come on. Again. All right, let's get that fire out, Matt. Get a fire extinguisher. Okay, Randy, you want to get that little couple over there? And I'll All right, let's get it out now, quick. quick. Let's hurry up. All right. I'll get some water. Darn things. Duck them. <laughs> oh! started on purpose. Yeah, I know. You just wanted to toast marshmallows. Hey, look, it's an old beat-up ghost town anyhow. Who needs it? Come on, TJ, let's cut out of here. Looks like your buddy split. That creep leaves me to take the rap. I don't think your friend would take off without his bike. And where'd he go? Oh, help! Help! Well, wherever he is, he can stay there, skipping out like that. Help! Help! I'm in here! He's in the well. Get back, you're gonna cave the whole thing in on him. We'll have to improvise something. Carefully. Jason, bring the minibus up here. What are we gonna do? Just get those two by fours and some rope, you'll see. Ready down there? You got the harness around you? Y yeah. Hurry up! Okay, Jason, bring him up. Slowly. You fellas better cool it before you get yourselves in a lot of trouble. We know what we're doing. Oh? Uh -huh. Riding that kind of bike out here in the desert? Well, let's go, TJ. He's starting a sermon. They're only telling you for your own good. And you listen to it, pal. So long. Yeah, see you around. Those clowns are gonna blow it sure. Hey, TJ, wait up. Come on, stupid, get with it. Well, one of them didn't get far. Strangle this darn machine if it doesn't. He started a rock slide. Hang on. Hold up, Jason. It's raining rocks in there. It's the gate going through. The minibus. Easy, Carol. They were pretty far back. I'm sure Jason stopped in time. But what if he didn't? All those rocks. Hey, cats, why are you looking so shook up? The two of you on a small bike like that. You know, it's pretty risky. Why don't you ride back to town with us? It's safer. Sure, and listen to another speech? Forget it. We're getting out of here. Those guys are two-man disaster area. Hey, guys. Don't forget to check your boots in the morning. What for, Mr. Gage? Scorpions. They like to sleep in shoes. 
<laughs> yeah, and rattlesnakes dig nice warm sleeping bags. So do I, but I'm not sharing it with any rattlesnakes. Better not go off a chatter. We'll wake the Bonners. Good night. You'll warn us if the snake comes around, won't you, Flash? up as you made us. It's walking, doesn't it? Now help me push it down the hill. We don't want to wake him up. What's the matter with Flash? Oh, maybe he saw an elephant-shaped cactus. No! Something's wrong this time. I can tell. The buggy! It's gone! Mr. Gage! Mr. DeSoto! Everybody! Linda! Come here! Linda! Help! Something's wrong. Let's go. Quickly! Get the snake bite kid out of the super buggy and... Oh, no, it's gone. Whoever took our buggy took our antivenom. Well, we've got to have it. Can't you take Dad to a hospital? Too far. Make him as comfortable as possible. Keep him warm and quiet. We'll get that serum back. All right, Dr. Bonner? That's right, Mr. Gage. Then I can tell you how to administer it. Carol, you stay here with Roy and help Linda take care of her father. We're going out after our buggy. Jason? You and Randy take Dr. Bonner's Jeep. Matt and I will drive the minibus. Let's get going. We have to have that antivenin back here fast. The way these tracks are wandering, I'd say the driver's lost. We'll find him in no time. I think you're wrong, Matt. The tracks are heading for the lava flow. We won't be able to follow him on that stuff. Dr. Bonner's chances aren't too good unless we recover that antivenom. Not good at all. Odds are they went straight ahead. Anyway, let's give it a shot. Hey, you're right. Dr. Bonner's luck is holding out. Hey, TJ, it looks like rain. Don't be stupid, stupid. It, it never rains in the desert. Okay, weatherman, now what? Let's get out of here. This desert is something else. It was dry as a bone a minute ago. Now look at it. Over here! A flash flood. Jason, stay where you are. You can't make it back. Matt, get the loud gun. I got you. All right, I'm ready to fire. Now stand clear. Ready to go. Okay, secure the line to the back bumper. Hurry! The line is about to crumble. Ready on our end. Everybody okay? Right on. Then let's find that buggy. Linda, 
Yes, Dad? Be sure to release the constriction band every 10 minutes. I know, Dad. For 90 seconds. Boy, I hope they get back here soon. He's getting worse. Yes, I know. But the only thing to do is to let him sleep, if he can. The less exertion, the better. Mr. DeSoto, if there's nothing I can do to help, I'll see what I can do to fix the generator. I see it. I might have known. They're not much smarter than the last time we saw them. Turn on the radio transmitter. It's the last switch on the right. Can you hear us? Yes, we read you. Okay, well, what are you gonna do to get us out of this mess? Take it easy. Do you have it in four-wheel drive? How do I know? Check the lever to the right of the stick. Make sure it's forward. Okay, now what? You got better traction now. Move out slowly. I said slowly. All right, you two, climb in the back and don't say a word. The antivenom's still in here. Let's get going. Look, don't worry about that. I'll take care of it. You go see your father. What's keeping them? They should have been back by now. The storm is getting worse by the minute. I know, Carol. I, I don't like it either. But Johnny's with him. If anybody can make it through this storm, he can. An hour ago, we were soaking wet. Now it's hot enough to bake the brains out of a lizard. Heat's not our only problem. Look over there. Let's hope our compass is accurate. In a minute or two, we're going to be in the middle of a sandstorm. We won't be able to see a thing. Give me a compass heading. Zero, four, zero, sir. Wow, look at that. Let's abandon the Jeep. Without a radio, you might get lost. Get in the minibus with Matt. Lights on, everybody, and keep radio communications open from here on out. Will we be able to find the Jeep, Mr. Gage? Sure we will. We'll keep a record of our heading and mileage and come back for it after the storm. Keep checking the compass. Tell me if I get off course. Can you see the minibus? starting to settle. Let's get out of here and get back to Dr. Bonner. Hey, there's no oasis in Spotted going now. We're on course again. But that ridge, it looks too tough. Think we should go around? We'd better. Look at that. Do I see a mirage? There's no mirage, Randy. These are natural hot springs. That alkali mud could be trouble. All right, that was better than old faithful. Jason, Matt, we're swinging wide to avoid any chance of bogging down in the mud. Make sure you stay right in our tracks and keep it close. We're running out of time. We can't take any chances. Roger, 10-4. like the camp weathered the storm okay. I just hope we made it back in time. Will Dad be all right? He sure will. Here you are, sir. Thanks, Fireman Gage. I can take it from here. How's Dr. Bonner? He's doing fine. But after he rests a bit, we've got to get him to a hospital. You did a nice job on that generator, Carol. Thanks, Matt. What about those two? Well, I guess none of this would have happened if we'd have listened to you guys in the first place. Yeah. You were right all along about this crazy desert, and, uh, well, we're sorry. Well, the important thing is Dr. Bonner is safe now. We 
But you guys are going to have a lot of explaining to do when you get home. For instance, the loss of two pretty good-looking bikes. Can't you help us find them? I'm afraid that's impossible. Those bikes are buried under several tons of sand by now. We'll give you guys a lift to the sheriff's office, and you can call your parents from there. You're on your own after that. Speaking of losing things, Johnny, didn't we, uh, didn't we leave here with three vehicles? Come to think of it, we did have a Jeep with us, didn't we? Guess we'll just have to go back for it. Relax. The Jeep is exactly 29.6 miles at a heading of 220. Randy, you got it all together. I hope you're feeling better today, Dr. Bonner. Much better, Carol. Thanks to all of you. My only regret is that the storm ruined our chances for a successful expedition. I know, Dad, and we were so close. Hey, Flash, cut it out. One sandstorm is enough. Wait, Randy, I think he's found something. <laughs> Leave it to Flash in the middle of the desert and he digs up an old bone. Just a minute. Let me see that. Come here, Flash. Hey, this is no ordinary bone. This is the jawbone of a camel. Come on, let's get digging. Hey, can we get in on this? Hey, give us a shovel. 